Hey guys, uh, so before we go ahead to scope the mouth, let's take a fast look uh, on the theory. So some of the biggest mistake that my students used to do is, uh, before I, I use this skeleton, now it's not so often, but is that the once you scope the mouth, make sure that it's going to have a rounded shape, like following the, the skeleton here. So it's arched. You can't make a flat mouth. So it needs to have depth. It needs to the sides of it needs to be deeper than the the center. Okay. Um, so uh, here I'm gonna show you guys a, a easier way to divide the lip. Uh, so I it's easier if you divide in five parts. So three parts for the top lip and two for the bottom lip. Why? Why do we divide like that? Because these are different volumes and shapes. So this part here, of course this is the same as this, they're flat, like more flat. Some lips have more volume than the others, but they are kind of flat and, and they roll in the cut. Uh, on the center we have a bump here. And this tip here is a sharp edge that all the lips have. Some have uh, more, some have like less. We have two bumps on the bottom lip. Um, some are have more volume, some have less. And we have a ridge here uh, that it goes a little bit flatter than this bump uh, around the, just on the bottom lip. This gives us the impression that the the top lip is wider than the bottom lip. Okay, uh, so besides sharing the lips in five to make it easier, it's also important for you guys to know about this uh, volume that we have here. Of course, this is uh, big. So this image is amazing. I love this image to explain that. So you see here it will kind of get uh, softener and then it's really soft. But if you look, we have a little volume here. What is this? Uh, this, uh, it's a node. It's it's just one uh, uh, a little volume because we have a lot of, of muscles that come here and they connect in here. So once you have the your mouth closed, you can see this node here. And it's it's nice to to put it on because it kind of gives you the it shares the bottom the end of the of the lip here the edges. You see, there's a little little line here that uh, it's this bean, <laughs> this, the node around, it f helps to form this. So it's good to put it, to put that one, otherwise uh, the, I don't know, the end of the lip, the, where the, the top lip and the bottom lip meet up, it kind of, it misses something if you don't add this to your sculpture. So what else is important here to sculpt the mouth, it's beside knowing the lips, is knowing the shape of the surround area. So we have a orbicularis aureus muscle here, and s besides those muscles that I said that the, a lot of them meet up here, we have to know this shape. So this is the philtrum, all this part, and the philtrum goes, let me do a, a hand shape because it's not easy to explain this. So around the mouth it goes like, it, it's rounded like I said, but it also goes like this kind of uh, f kind of following the the sharp edge of the mouth here it goes like this and once it reaches the the sharp edge it start going down and then they meet up in the center and it's even deeper in the center this is the highest area this part of the philtrum and something else that is really important is that the bottom lip, around the bottom lip, this is the biggest, biggest mistake <laughs> that it's hard to, to get it right. Uh, so around the, the bottom lip, in the center, we have a dip area. So it gets deeper. We have like a line that goes deeper here. Like if you look on the profile, it goes... Uh, let me draw that to make it easier. So if you look in the profile of your lip, it comes like this, like this, and this is the bottom lip, this is the top. So 
here it goes like down like this and then chin here obviously it's a bad drawing but that's it it goes like this and like this this is in the center and once you reach here this is already I already used this this image so many times with my students and then on the sides here we don't have a line in here and a lot of people do they want to make the shape of the lip and they do make a line here which is wrong don't do a line all the way here get it deeper here but in the sides don't do it because it's gonna look like a fish if you do it there's in this part here and here there's like a tri a triangle shape that goes out to the outside and down like like a pyramid let's say like this it's it's hard to explain like this so i think i think that's it if there's something else i just add to to the video during the process let's get started when we are wo working with the skeleton as I said, I'm going to repeat that so many times because it is so much easier. Uh, we already have that part here curved. So we don't really need to add a lot of clay in there. It's kind of like too low here. We, we would need a little bit of clay here anyway. Even if the person doesn't have a volume on the lips. Uh, at least a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of clay here. Just enough, maybe more, uh, just enough to put the volume that I want in the, the filtrum here on the top and the lip because this is, I'm going to use this same clay to do both. So kind of like I try to put a little bit fatter in the center and kind of skinny in the edges like that. So I'm going to put it in here, kind of like a mustache over the lip like that. It is too much. I'm gonna have to take part of this out, but it doesn't matter. And if you are making uh, a face just uh, starting with the tin foil, then maybe you need a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna connect the center here because the nose doesn't have that so deep. So I'm gonna start to bring it down. Let me look in the sides. Bring it down here and connecting them together. This. So as you can see, uh, I said it when I, I, I taught the nose that the nostril is here in the center of the columella. It's straight and then it opens. And that part, that it opens because it connects to the filtrum here. And the filtrum is make, make it larger. So once you start connecting those, you will understand why uh, when we look to the nose you see that... It's not just straight that it opens underneath here. So, looking on the profile, I'm kind of bringing in so it doesn't get too much in front. And then for the lips, I'm gonna come in, I'm kind of letting it go out, right? Like this. And then this part, I'm gonna bring to the sides, spreading like this. And I'm gonna meet all the way to the chin and we can go around the wing here so all the way there and it connects to the nose it connects to everything here you can just add a little bit of more clay to everything here it's not gonna have a skull face so see the difference this one I pull it down and around this one I didn't. Right? So I'm going to do the same this side. Bring it down and around. And here around the wing, meeting the nose. And there, if you don't have enough clay to go all the way there, it doesn't matter because we're still going to put muscles here to finish this face, so never mind. What is important here is that you have to met, uh, meet the cut in there, connect them together, don't leave a line in there. And when you look like this, you have to make sure they are symmetrical. 
the curve is symmetrical because and the higher part is kind of it's in the center and then don't worry that it's too thick because we still didn't put any volume in the in the lower lip so it's gonna look like it's too big but the profile tells you if it is or not so see once you put the upper lip here it's not gonna be so much volume so make sure that the two sides are looking like each other and then what I am gonna do here it's around the nose here once the nostril is done you can kind of start going deeper you can even make a shade here because this is going to be where the higher part of the philtrum is and you're going to make a line in between here right in the center right and uh, you can use the silicone or maybe some small rounded like that I don't really have it here I do have somewhere maybe one of my kids got it I'm just gonna use this one so you start of opening to the sides one side other side and make sure that it's gonna get going deeper slowly from the nose and then gets the deeper point in the center and start losing depth once it gets closer to the lip right so there is we're gonna smooth it out it's not gonna be that strong um, and then here it also depends on the person that you're doing the shape that you're doing you kind of have to copy if you're making likeness here I'm just kind of smoothing a little bit and then the lip you're gonna start rolling it up like this and the center you're gonna roll a little bit more here and here and this you can bring down and then you kind of start forming the shape of the lip here according to the person that you're making I'm making thick lips here there it is so I'm not gonna worry too much about the, the shape because this is nobody I'm just a whatever person so I'm gonna put uh, some clay just for the bottom lip now I'm not going to to put the, the those triangles that I set on the side so this one is too much so same as I did for the top one it's thicker in the center and thinner on the sides on the edges and I'm gonna place it here underneath like this I'm gonna connect to the skin here and here and when you look in this angle this is very important make sure that this curve is not as large as this one so it's gonna be you can still see this one going out here and here and to make sure that this is actually gonna happen that's the big thing you just press this kind of tool with a little ball on the end of the upper lip underneath like this and like this so you make sure here that this arch is going to be smaller than this arch looking in this angle okay now we start connecting them to the chin and you're gonna make the line that I said that you're just supposed to do in the center just do it in the center don't make a line on the sides just go here and bring it all the way to the chin we already have kind of a chin here you can only if you want to make it bigger you can or if you want to make it smaller you just pull the 
put less clay to cover it and roll the lip to get very rounded. And now that we have that, we're going to share the, the lip in five parts. So we're going to put your tool in the center and you can kind of do a mark here and then make it round around it here and here. You don't need to make it that uh, deep. You can do this very gently soft or you can not if you don't even need to do it if you don't want depending on the lip that that line doesn't really show as soon as you know that it is there this division is good and then on the sides here you're gonna put this part a little bit up here and here and then you have this division here and of course you have to make it soft come into the center and go in here so you kind of divide here the volumes. And with a very thin tool, what is it I hear? I like to come here again and dig this lip down so it doesn't close the mouth. Because once we start adding clay and stuff, sometimes we close this line here. There it is. And here you see I don't make a line. If I want to make the, the lips smaller, I just push, I'll just pull the clay to the outside, to the edges, but bring it out an opening. And here I'm going to give a better shape and according, it looks more like a woman, I guess. I, I don't even know what I'm making, but... Uh, actually, even there's difference on the skull, but this one uh, you can always add more clay here and there to make it a male or a female. Okay, so I'm just uh, rubbing my finger to kind of smooth out the clay. Uh, once we smooth out the clay, you kind of see the shapes better and it helps you to decide if you need to go deeper here or there. Okay, so that's it for the lips. And what I said that I was going to show you guys is here, this triangle here, I'm going to share just to show you here. You see, there's a volume here. It goes here and here. Once I put the lip, I automatically I bring it outside and it makes it already there. But if yours is going deep and making a line here, make sure to add two triangles in here. Make sure that it's not going to have a, a hole in here. Okay, You can always make this bigger. There's some people have this very big. I do have a short video on my channel that explained all this part in a very easy way. It's kind of like a fast version a summary. You guys should take a look. It's nice. There you go. And then this is going to make the lip look natural and it's not going to look like a fish because if you do the line it, it looks more like a fish than like a human and here you can even leave the volumes so you just need to smooth it out and keep the the deeper just in the center I'm not concerned if it's a beautiful lip, considered beautiful by society, or any of that. I'm just concerned here to show you guys the basic shapes of everything, and you guys can go and choose um, the type of face that you want to do, and whatever else. Okay, and the bean. <laughs> uh, usually when you press this, this circle here, you kind of already form the bean, and then you just need to smooth it out here. But if it didn't form on yours, you can just place a little bit of clay in there. Like, see, you can see already my bean here. It's kind of like when you do this, there's like, it's right here already. I don't need to put any clay here, maybe in this side a little bit. Let me see. I go like this, make a hole in the center. And yeah, I can put a little bit here. Right there. And to low. So the bean, it comes around the lip, 
it doesn't come here, it comes around. And once it reaches here, start losing volume and meets up the bottom. Like that. Like this. Okay? So this is this is it. So as you see, I didn't draw a line in here or in here. Well, I draw to show you guys that you don't supposed to draw, but you don't have to. You can absolutely delete it. Delete it. <laughs> Erase it. Okay. Um, and something else that it, it's already kind of here once you do that is all this area, it gets already pretty much ready. If you want, if you're working with the um, tin foil, you will have to add chin because it's probably it probably doesn't have it. So add a chin and make sure that your chin is going to have a volume here and it's gonna lose volume here. It's gonna meet up this triangle and there's this part around the lips that are a little bit higher and when you smile it gets like a shape here. You can also add volume to the upper lip as well. Uh, Make the bump on the center, more volume on the flats according to the shape that you want for your lip. I won't do anything on mine. I'll stop here and let's go to sculpt the eyes.